Hi, welcome to my program. And what we have here are two old heating pipes um, in the basement of this, uh, I'm going to say, uh, late Victorian, early Edwardian home in uh, the Roland Park area of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. And as you can see, the pipes are both the same size. One is insulated with uh, fiberglass insulation. Um, not the best insulation job in the world, but it's there. Um, it used to have asbestos on it, and I think you can t tell that because the uh, uh, the paint on the fittings to encapsulate any stray fibers there. Why one pipe insulated? Well, sometimes you do that on a hot water gravity system for the supply pipe in order to get the heat out to the system and any returning heat then helps uh, warm the basement. Uh, generally, um, best to insulate both pipes in that case. But one pipe here is left uninsulated. And as I said, this when you have two pipes both of the same size, generally what you're looking at is a gravity hot water system because the only moving part was the water. They hadn't developed the circulator, wouldn't develop it for decades. And the pipes have gotten smaller, but they're both the same size. Now, wait a minute. What do we got here? That's a steam vent. That's a Gorton, G-O-R-T-O-N number two steam vent on the insulated pipe. What the heck's going on? Let's go back to the boiler. Hot water pipes attached to a really old American standard steam boiler. That gauge is in ounces per square inch and it's reading about maybe two ounces of, of pressure now. Got a vapor stat installed on a brass pigtail. Sight glass is bobbing up and down. Somebody has added a blow down for the sight glass itself to test to check whether the sight glass is telling the truth or not. And we're getting a little bit of carryover on the top. All right. McDonald Miller number 67 has a um, electronic ignition, which is an upgrade. When we open this, we're going to hear the burner go off and the 101A click on. That thunk. I think you heard the burner go off. Shut that. 101A should turn off and the boiler should fire again. Heard it go. Okay. So, yeah, steam boiler operating at low pressure. And on the uninsulated lines, a whole bunch of Gortons. Now, yeah, I think you can probably figure now that something really strange is going on here. Um, that's what we thought, too, when we first encountered this thing. Somebody had gone to the great expense, 100 years ago, of installing a hot water gravity system. And then sometime later, it was converted to steam. And then we came along and upgraded the steam. I will have a little bit of, uh, confess to a little bit of schadenfreunde that, uh, there's that garbage 101A there. Um, with this big 90VA transformer. These are the traps that we encountered. Old Sarko H. I think these are pre-war, which war is a question, but yeah, pre-World War II. Um, we had rebuilt these a while ago with uh, tungsten capsules. These are probably removed 
uh, radiators were probably removed during during uh, past renovations. Uh, I haven't been in this house in about 15 years when we did the major upgrades. But here we are. Somebody had converted a hot water system to a steam system, a vapor system, um, and probably because the hot water system didn't satisfy at the time. Um, <laughs> so many times people want to convert a two-pipe steam system into hot water. So this is, is an example of the exact opposite. Uh, and of course this is pleasing to see. And uh, I think we've got this system running pretty well. You can see at one time it was coal-fired. There's the little pulley there for that. A um, lot of nice details. There's more more of the same. We got Gordon's at the end. This is lovely cast iron um, pillars here. And uh, supporting this friggin' ship beam here um, with this massive construction. So this house was built for the centuries and uh, got a steam system to match. Thank you all. Hope this was um, interesting, and I'll talk to you later.